Uh, we've got these two incredible specimens from the Isle of Skye in Scotland, around 166 million years old. That's the middle of the Jurassic. And they represent an adult and a juvenile of the same species. It would have been about the size of a squirrel or a chipmunk, but the juvenile is, of course, smaller than the adult, and this lets us compare them and see how they grew. This animal is called Crusatidon curtlingtonensis, which is a bit of a mouthful, uh, but it's a really important animal because of where it sits in the mammal tree of life. So what's really fascinating is that mammals today grow very rapidly when they're young to reach adult size, uh, and then they don't really grow after that point. Whereas what we've discovered by having this juvenile and adult specimen from Skye is that it took a very long time for the juvenile to grow to adult size um, and then it potentially even grew slightly as an adult. So this is really quite a different pattern from what we see today in living mammals of similar body mass. One of the first things we had to do is try to figure out how old this juvenile was. So it had about 50% of its adult teeth grown in and some of its baby's teeth were still in the jaw. Um, and we worked out by looking at the cementum rings, this is a, a tissue that's found in the teeth, that it was as much as two years old at this point. So for an animal that's only the size of a squirrel, you would expect this tooth replacement to happen much, much earlier. So the site on the Isle of Skye is really unique. It's proven to be one of the most important vertebrate fossil sites from the time of dinosaurs in the UK. So at National Museum Scotland, we hold uh, the majority of the collection of specimens ever found at that site. And the two specimens that were in this study, one was uh, one of the first specimens ever found there in the 1970s, and the other one was found much later uh, by my team in around about 2016. And it was amazing to discover that they were the same species because it then allowed us to do this direct comparison between a juvenile and an adult specimen. The really unique thing about having both a juvenile and an adult is that you can compare them and you can start to look at how this species would have grown. Um, and this is something that we really want to know because modern mammals have a very unique way of growing. Did they grow like that in the time of dinosaurs? Well, this is what these specimens tell us. This is a really big deal a big discovery because we do know, we already knew that mammals lived to a much longer, uh, much later age in the Jurassic, but we didn't know did they get there quickly in their growth or uh, was it a very long and continuous growth. And this really matters because it's part of piecing together how the modern world has come to be and how the animals that we see today grow and develop.